Right, I have figured out what is the best social media platform for photographers in 2023. We've done a scientific experiment, or as scientific as I get anyway, on all of the platforms. And if it's um, the first time that you're watching this video, this is a follow-up from one I did a few months ago when we was talking about social media platforms for photographers and the fact that basically Instagram is showing you loads of adverts and films of dogs. <laughs> And that's great for entertainment, but you know, what about photographers? We want engagement. I don't care what anyone says. We did have a few posts, a few comments on the last video where people were going, oh, I don't post for likes and this, that and the other. And I get all of that, but let's face it, we do po post for engagement. That's what we post for. We post for people to like our work. You know, what's the point of getting up at six in the morning going out and doing pictures and no one likes your work, right? We post for engagement. People to like your work, people to comment on your work and essentially to follow you and maybe give you some money as well. That's for me as well, you know? So I'm a professional here. I need money from you guys. Otherwise I can't live, right? It's just a plain fact of life. So I post for engagement and to get business. And that is why most people post on social media. So that is what we have measured in this test. So if you did watch the last video, you will know that I have been posting on all of my social media platforms and measuring the results. And incidentally, it's not the School of Photography's social media channels, it's my personal one at Mark Newton. And the platforms that we've tested out are Instagram, Facebook, Flickr, and that's where this all started from, as a matter of fact. The initial video was all about, you know, have we forgotten about Flickr? You know, it's been there for years and it's made for photographers. Um, like I said, go and check that video out if you want to know more. And Vero. Vero has become a bit popular for photographers in the last few months. And that is because of Instagram showing you pictures of dogs doing weird, funny stuff. <laughs> And on them platforms, I posted nine posts, all based around photography, right? I'm, I'm not doing videos or anything like that. It was just photography. And for those of you that are shouting at the screen going, what about Twitter, what about Twitter? Well, Twitter's like a no-go, it's like a desert for me, right? I've post, I did actually post all of these pictures to Twitter as well, but I might get one like and that might be my dad, do you know what I mean? So Twitter is not really for me, I don't think it ever has been, and that's because you know, I'm not interested in what Donald Trump is doing tomorrow, do you know what I mean, right? So, that, but I might be wrong, put it in the comments, and that's another thing about this video actually, I have done what I think is a fairly scientific test here, but you might have your own opinions and please share it because let's figure this out once and for all. So the main measurement was the percentage of your followers that like your posts, all right? Reach, not interested in reach. Reach means nothing. So you can have a post and it can say it reached 10,000 people, right? But it's actually meaningless. It's the engagement on your posts that is meaningful. And that's because reach means scrolling through. It's gone, okay? Engaging is someone who's stopped, looked at your picture, pressed the like, commented, whatever. And it's engagement that's gonna make people follow you, engage in the next post that you post, and hopefully come over to your website and you know, purchase some products or your services. So firstly, we're gonna talk about the totals from all of these nine posts. Then we're gonna look at some of these posts individually and discuss that. And then at the end, we'll come to a conclusion, okay? So let's look at the totals. We'll start with Instagram. So over them nine separate posts, there was a total of 972 likes, 98 comments, and the average percentage of people who follow you and like your posts was 5.73%. And you know, when you're looking at that, so let's just say, let's round it up to six. So six people out of every hundred that follow you, follow me in this case, are liking a post, you know? There you go, that's what happens on Instagram. Let's move on to Facebook now, and Facebook had a total of 554 likes across them nine posts. That's lower than Instagram and it had a total of 147 comments, which is 
quite a lot more than Instagram. And at this point, when it comes to comments, um, I'm, I'm just adding up all comments and that does include my replies. I do try and reply to most people and sometimes it turns into a conversation, you see, and sometimes it don't. So I just thought for ease of measurements, uh, we'll just add up the total comments. So that's everyone's comments plus my re replies, any conversations, etc. And on Facebook, the percentage of my followers that like the posts is only 2%, all right? So on Facebook, I've got 3,400 followers. On Instagram, I have 1,866 followers, okay? Now, of course, you can go and check out all of um, my socials if you want to. I'm gonna put links in the description of this video. Be nice if you followed me as well, but that's not what I'm here for, uh, but you can certainly go and check out everything that I am saying now over on them platforms. Now let's move on to Vero. This is the new platform that everyone is raving about. It's, well, it's not actually new, but it's new for photographers to move over to it. Again, if you want my opinions on the actual platforms themselves and how they work, that's in the previous video. On Vero, the total amount of likes was 678. Total amount of comments was 49, so that's the lowest so far. But the percentage of my followers that liked the posts was 30%. That is much higher than the rest. And then we move on to Flickr. Total amount of likes, they call them faves over there, but the total amount of faves was 240. Total amount of comments was 49. And the percentage of my followers that liked the posts was 18.24%. Now, there is a caveat when it comes to that flick, because when you're looking at it like this, you think, that's actually quite good. But actually something happened, which will make you change your mind on that. And that was this picture here, actually. This is the first picture that I posted after I made the previous YouTube video. So this is the first picture in the test, and I was just scouting out areas, actually, for an autumn shot. And this was the result. Now, what happened was Flickr shared it to its front page, which was weird, really, because I hadn't posted on Flickr for so many years, made a YouTube video, posted on Flickr, and then this got shared to their front page. I can't remember what they called it. They called it something, but it was shared there. Now, from that, there was loads of likes on that particular post. So let's talk about this post. So on Flickr, this post got 173 likes, 30 comments, and the percentage of likes to followers was actually 105.4%, right? So what that means is that there is, there's not just my followers that are liking it, there's other people that are liking it as well. So on the basis of that, I thought, here we go. I was right, Flickr was the, was the platform that we've forgotten about for all of these years, okay? But then it progresses onto other posts, which I'll come to in a minute. But while we're on this post, let's have a look at Vero. So on Vero, it got 88 likes. No comments though on Vero on this one, but the percentage of likes to followers was 35%. So out of 100 people, 35 of them liked, of my followers liked this post. That's good, you know, it, I, you could live with that. That's actually really good. Then we move on to Facebook. We had 19 likes on this post and four comments and the percentage of my followers to the like it was half a percent, so not that great at all. And then we go on to Instagram, 96 likes, seven comments, that's good. And the percentage of my followers that liked the post was 5%, 5.1%. So in that particular post, there is a clear winner there, and it was Flickr. And like I said, you know, we're thinking, I knew I'd forgotten about it all these years, I'm moving over to Flickr, but, it was only because it was shared on that front page, right? It drops off the chart as we move forwards. Now I'm gonna move forward to the fifth post in this um, test. Like clearly, like I said to you, go over and check all of them out if you want to, but we'll be here forever. But I wanted to just talk about another post that I did, which was a carousel. It was two images, and I thought, right, well, I'm gonna post two images here and ask people what one they like the best. That, that generates a lot of engagement, people commenting, etc. So I thought, let's test one of them types of posts, you know, a carousel post. 
And we'll start with Instagram here that had 120 likes and 37 comments. 37 comments is good. The percentage of my followers that liked that particular picture was 6.4%. So you're still only talking six people out of 100 that are liking the post. We'll go on to Facebook now. They had 50 likes on Facebook, 11 comments, and only 1.4% of the followers are liking that post. Now I know what you're thinking at this point, you know, it is Facebook and algorithms and you know, Facebook probably hasn't shown it to most of my followers and that's the problem, isn't it? This is, this is why we are here looking at this test, you know? And incidentally, I don't think it's a great picture, so I, I get that, you know, it's not like it's a fantastic picture that's gonna be shown to everyone. This is just a test, you know, what you wanna see is actually are these platforms showing your followers what you do. And then we move on to Vero here. Now that had 84 likes, had 11 comments, and 33.4% of my followers liked the work. Again, it's high, isn't it? Then we go on to Flickr, right? And we had 14 faves. We had eight comments though, that was quite good. And 8.5% of the followers, my followers on Flickr are liking the post. So it's still at this point on Flickr, looking all right. And now I want to talk to you about this next picture, which is a picture of the Shard in London. Now I really like this picture, all right? This is one of them pictures where I did think to myself it would have got a lot of engagement, but it didn't. And I think that there's a lesson here when it comes to social media, all right? They do like the very aesthetic, obvious pictures. So this is not an obvious picture of the Shard, it's just the shard's actually small in the frame, but I really liked it because I've not seen this view of the shard. So I do photography up London all the time, and I'm always looking for another view of iconic objects. It's really hard to, to kind of get. Now I've never seen this particular view of the shard before. I'm not saying it's never been done, but I never see it. And the colors were great. The image is absolutely pin sharp, it's exposed really well. You know, all of these things that are hard to get when you're doing night photography. I think that I nailed it with this particular picture. This is gonna get loads of engagement. And it didn't get as much as I thought, you know, so let's go through it. Let's start on Instagram. It got 80 likes and two comments. You know, the percentage of likes per followers is 4.2% on Instagram. We move on to Facebook, we've got 53 likes on Facebook. So that was quite high um, on Facebook, as a matter of fact, when you compare it with the other posts. Had nine comments, again, that's all right for Facebook, but when it comes to the percentage of followers liking, 1.5%, all right? We move on to Vero, 62 likes, four comments, 24. 0.7% of the followers, my followers liked that image. So that's the highest one. We go on to Flickr, and here is where its true color starts to shine, all right? Maybe because the first initial image, you know, the autumn one where it got shared on their front page, maybe because that got a lot of engagement, Flickr was pushing stuff to people for a little while and then it just forgot about me, okay? Because that picture there, which I thought was a good picture, got four faves, and that's it. Four faves, no comments, and it's 2.4% of uh, my followers that actually like that image. Now, you know, I know what you're thinking, you're just too self-obsessed in your own imagery, Newton, right? <laughs> well, you are a little bit because it is your imagery, and if there's one person that should praise your pictures, it's you, all right? now. That particular picture is a good picture. I've been doing night photography for so many years up London. For me, that's a good picture, one of my best, right? Now, that might be a different opinion for you guys, and put it in the comments, you know. It doesn't bother me whether you, whether you like or dislike it. It bothers me whether I do. So when I'm doing all of this work and getting these really good pictures and putting them out there, I realize that it might just be my opinion against someone else's but still, four faves, four faves, you know, what's going on there, right? I mean, why am I gonna go to all of that effort, put these pictures out there, and I would like to think, 
I've got enough experience here to know what a good picture is and what a bad picture is, all right? So I'll put these pictures out there for four people to like it. Obviously, you appreciate them, four people liking it, but you know, you just think it's not worth it. And in this game, time is money. You know, the competition is fierce. You need every minute in your day to compete with people and be the best. So, so I'm not going to start wasting my time for four faves. It's as simple as that. But let's go now on to another post, which I thought was really good. And this was a Christmas picture in Regent Street in London. And this particular picture, as a matter of fact, um, is, is, is not reinventing the wheel. Loads and loads of people go down Regent Street and take pictures of these angels that are suspended in the air. And I've said this many, many times before. It doesn't matter that you go out and you do these like Instagram classic pictures, but you should really be aiming to put your own take on it and actually making yours the best or as best as it can be. And again, I'm blowing my own trumpet. I know I'm blowing my own trumpet here, right? But I do honestly believe that that picture there is one of the best examples of that scene of Regent Street um, at Christmas. Let's look at the results. On Instagram, it got 137 likes. That's the highest so far. It got 18 comments and it's moved up to 73 percent of my followers who actually liked that post. So again, that's the highest so far. Then we move on to Facebook. That got 170 likes on Facebook, 44 comments, right? So that's the highest so far. And 5% of the followers liked that picture. Again, the highest so far. Then we go on to Vero, 72 likes, six comments, 28.6% of followers liked the post. So that's not the best one so far on Vero, but it's still quite high. And then on Flickr, here we go, right? So clearly it's a good picture compared to the other social media channels, okay? Because it's getting like high results. On Flickr, four faves, four. Three comments though, that's quite good. And, and by the way, I, I do appreciate every, everyone who likes and comments on any of my posts. And that, that's 2.4% of the followers, okay? So there you go, Flickr again. Next, what I thought I would do is actually build on the success of that post and post another carousel asking people their opinions. And in this case, I put a person in the same picture, you know, the Regent Street uh, picture. I put a person in it and I created a color and black and white version. And the question was, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer it without the person, with the person in the shot, black and white color, etc.? Again, it builds engagement and I thought I would try and build off of the success of the last post and kind of play the social media game a little bit as I think that would you know, be good for this test. Okay, so let's take a look at the results again. Instagram, 111 likes, 13 comments, 5.9% of followers liked the post. So that's a high engaging post in comparison with the rest. Not quite as good as the one before, but still high engaging. Then we go to Facebook, 54 likes, 26 comments, so it's still a lot of comments, but the likes, uh, the percentage of likes to followers, only 1.5% there. Then we move on to Vero, 62 likes, four comments, 24% of followers like the post. That's still pretty good, I think. Then we go on to Flickr, and three faves, no comments, 1.8% of uh, followers liked it. And then I posted the last test in uh, this series and it was this picture here of St. Paul's Cathedral. And again, this is a hard picture to get and I literally waited about half an hour, I'm even joking, about half an hour standing in the same spot, spot freezing cold, waiting for a bus, okay? But I got the shot and I know again, it's not the first time that this particular image has been taken off St. Paul's Cathedral, but like I've said to you before, make yours a good one, put your own take on it and you know, make it better than what you're seeing on the internet, which again, I think I did succeed with this particular picture. On Instagram, 109 likes, fairly high in comparison to the rest. Four comments, 5.8% of 
uh, followers like the post. Move on, on to Facebook, 89 likes. That's actually quite high in comparison to the rest. 28 comments. That is really good for Facebook, 28 comments there. And 2.6% of followers liked the post. Let's move on to Vero. We had 60 likes, only two comments, but 23.9% of followers liked the post. And I'm gonna to be totally honest, at this point I gave up with uh, Flickr. I just couldn't be bothered to put that extra effort in to upload it. So I didn't get the Flickr one, yeah, Flickr's gone. Now let's analyze this a little bit further, okay? Especially the Vero one. The Vero is obviously the newest platform for photographers. And I'm looking at the graph here and the percentage of likes per followers is dropping slightly as we get to the ninth post. And that ninth post, like I said, was a good image. So I'm hoping that Vero is not just like a honeymoon period. You know what I mean? Like everyone's bowed out from Instagram, gone on to Vero, and then it's just gonna die out because it's looking that way at present. But if it doesn't do that, then clearly it's a really good contender because your followers are seeing your work and that's basically what you want. Let's look at Facebook. That one is the clear winner for comments. It had a total of 147 comments. And the Facebook, I do find, is very engaging on a one-to-one -one level with people. That's what I want and hopefully that's what my followers want as well. Like people do comment, I comment back and sometimes you get into a conversation, etc. So if that's what you want out of a social media plan or platform, you know, it's a good one to go for, in my opinion. But when it comes to likes, likes per followers, or let's just say Facebook pushing it to your followers, it don't seem to do that very well. And we go on to Instagram here. We had a total of 98 comments, which is lower than the comments on Facebook, but it's still 98 comments, that's still quite good. And it's more than Vero, so again, if uh, talking to people is your thing, then it's still quite a good platform. And the likes on Instagram is higher than Facebook. And it's actually as a percentage of your followers that like the posts, it's higher than Facebook as well. So if we just look at them too, people are commenting more on Facebook, but they're liking more on Instagram, okay? That's what we can take out of that. Then we've got Vero here. Now, as a percentage of your followers that engage with your posts, this is definitely the clear winner with an overall 30% of your followers liking your posts, okay? Doesn't seem to have as many comments there, but people still do comment, but not as much as they do on Facebook and Instagram. But nevertheless, it's still got a fair amount of comments. And I've only been on the platform for well, since I made that last video, which I think was a couple of months ago or whatever, and my total followers on Vero is 251 followers. So it's not even that high. So 49 comments with that amount of followers, that's actually quite good. And then Flickr, you know, the only reason that the total amount of comments is 49 is because there was 30 comments on the first post that got shared out on their front page or whatever they call it. And again, the percentage, the total percentage of followers that like your post is 18.24%, but most of that comes from that very first post that was shared again. So I think that firstly, we can eliminate Flickr, all right? Well, I am, you know, don't forget, this is all my opinions based on some scientific evidence, okay? Flickr for me, I don't think I'm gonna be posting on there anymore. I will still be posting on the other three platforms. Now, I think it just breaks down to this, right? Comments wise, Facebook seems to be the one. So if you wanna to talk to people, and I do wanna to talk to people as a matter of fact, I love it when people talk about my pictures and maybe ask me questions and whatever else. That's on my personal page, you know. I like that, you know, it does take up time, but it's nice when someone else is liking your picture and you're having a little bit of conversation about it, okay? So that seems to be the best one for that. It's not that great for likes and it seems to me that Facebook does not push your posts, even if they're good imagery, right? And I know that's my opinion, but I like to think that I'm a little bit experienced here. Facebook is not pushing that to your followers, all right? Instagram's pushing it a little bit more to your followers by the looks of it, but again, 
not, not loads. Instagram seems to be a good kind of middle ground here, all right? And then I'm gonna come back to Vero just quickly. I think that as it builds, it might become the best one for photography, as long as it's not a honeymoon period that we're in, all right? Let's think about this for a minute. There's some very prominent people on YouTube that have been going, go over to Vero, and while you're there, follow me, okay? I know what you're thinking, you're one of them, Newton, right? Well, I never actually, I'm just bringing it to your attention, but by all means, follow me if you want to. And once all of them people have, uh, you know, got bored with Vero, shall I say, the engagement, the followers, and everything that might start dying down. It might not, but it might do, okay? So let's hope that it don't, because on paper here, it does look like it's got potential to be a really good platform to share your imagery and get engagement to your imagery, and indeed, engage with other people. And that's another thing I ain't mentioned actually this minute in time. <laughs> Sorry about this. So all I've been talking about is me, me, me. It's all about me. But actually I do use the social media uh, platforms to look at other people's work as well and engage with other people. So yeah, please be aware of that. <laughs> this is not like me, me, me. I do use it to follow other people and, and I've been doing that on Vero as well. And it's been quite nice. In fact, actually there has been a couple of people on Vero that have put comments on my work and I've started talking to them. And then um, they've said, I follow you from Instagram and then I've followed them back. And you know, so it does seem to be building a kind of photography community and yeah, let's just hope it continues. And of course, only time will tell. So for me, just to conclude here, I will be posting on Instagram, Facebook and Vero. Twitter is just like a desert. Um, Flickr seems to be the same, which is really weird because Flickr has been solely a photography platform for many, many years. It's weird, isn't it? Like, I don't even know what's going on because you would think in your head that surely that would be the one. But in this test, I, I might be wrong again. You've got comments, put them in. In this test, it certainly didn't work for me. So please comment here, right? You know, this is about all of us talking, so comment in this video, let us know your opinions. Like this video as well, you've gotta help me out, all right? If this has helped you out and it's entertained you and you've liked it, you've gotta like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel as well, and please, if you're looking to learn photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, wildlife photography, macro, fine art, loads and loads of other stuff that we do, come over and check out our courses at theschoolofphotography.com. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it's helped you out. And remember, if you wanna learn photography properly, come over and see us at theschoolofphotography.com.